Hello, my name's Guy Tarrant and I'm an arts trustee with Centrepieces. And what you see in front of you now is the newly refurbished Totem Poles project, which features as part of 12 and has been a signature project for us since 2001. The Totem Poles project has a long and important history within Centrepieces. It started as a community-based project funded by the King's Fund shortly after the initial success of our first public arts project, The Warrior, back in 1999. The project was initially led by myself and John XL with support from Kim Campbell and Stacey McCarthy. We toured various community centres around the borough through the now defunct Bexley Council for Racial Equality Department. These included the Vietnamese Centre in Thamesmead, the Indian Centre in Belvedere, and various other groups, including a Somalian group and a youth group from Slade Green. The poles were made through our exploration of Breeze Block as a useful starter carving stone. The idea followed a jigsaw approach, whereby each block was carved by individuals or pairs to form a collective art piece. We called this project It's a Breeze. These sculptures are clearly based on Native American Indian wooden poles and feature specific cultural symbols and emblems and colours. They're designed to be read as a storyboard from bottom to top. They symbolise a positive overseeing guardian spirit. John XL has been chiefly responsible for developing the sculptural potential of breeze block carving. And this has led us to go on to explore other carving materials, including African stone. The totem poles has a long exhibition hi history, having been shown at the Erif Festival the Charlton Festival, Hall Place Gardens and the Crayford Day Centre. Various extension workshops have developed through them, including work at Queen Mary's Hospital and Breezebok lanterns being made for the Diwali Light Indian Festivals. This project has really helped to forge a strong team of sculptors within our charity and our dealings within the community at large. The project did win a Bexley Arts Environmental Award. The project has been carefully revitalised through John and Kim's efforts and cited here in the Mediterranean Garden to be displayed in all its glory.